we've spent a lot of time getting to know Obsidian, and honestly, it's been our favorite for organizing information. The way it connects notes through a graph is very useful for keeping a bird's eye on our ideas. But when we learned about Notebook LM, it got us thinking. It brings some interesting features to the table, like making academic research easier by helping manage a stack of papers. That's something Obsidian doesn't quite offer. So now we're left wondering, is it worth switching from Obsidian to Notebook LM? Remember wishing for a tool on your thesis days that could help understand research papers easily? That's exactly what Notebook LM does. Notebook LM is a research and note-taking app developed by Google. It's designed to feel familiar, a lot like Google Keep. Simple, clean, and easy to use. But behind that simplicity is a really powerful tool. It can handle PDFs, Google Docs, and even text from websites, organizing everything so you can make sense of it faster. And with Gemini AI built in, it takes your content and turns it into focused, easy-to-read notes that actually help you get your work done. Now, Obsidian is the kind of app that's built for people who want to take control of their notes and data. Everything you save stays on your device, so you don't have to worry about privacy. The best part is that it works just like our minds. With plenty of plugins and themes, Obsidian adapts to how you like to think and work. It's a smart way to connect your ideas and keep track of everything, no matter how big or small. Now let's take a close look at the best features of Notebook LM. Notebook LM works a little differently than other AI tools. It uses only the files you upload to provide answers or complete tasks, nothing else. You can upload all kinds of files, Google Docs, PDFs, web pages, and even YouTube videos. Once uploaded, Notebook LM makes a copy of the file, so you don't have to worry about it messing with your originals. If you update your document later, you'll need to refresh it manually in Notebook LM because it won't automatically track changes. Google now supports 50 sources, each with up to 500,000 words, which means it can handle up to 25 million words in total. That's a lot of information. The real magic happens when you upload multiple files and let Notebook LM pull everything together to help answer complicated questions. It's like having an organized AI assistant to help you sort through all your data. Another helpful feature is the Notebook Guide. When you upload a file, the Notebook Guide pops up right away. On the left side, you'll see the sources you uploaded. If you select all of them, Notebook LM will use everything in your library to answer questions or provide insights. In the middle of the screen, there's an automatic summary that gives you a quick overview of the file. To make things even easier, there are features like FAQs to clarify common questions, study guides to break down the information, and timelines to show events in order. There's also a table of contents and a tool to create briefing documents that summarize the key ideas in just a few seconds. On the right, you'll find suggested questions based on your source. At the bottom, you can type in your questions, and Notebook LM will respond instantly, which makes it very simple to understand your content. When we tried out Notebook LM, we came across something that left a lasting impression, the podcast feature. We've reviewed a lot of AI tools over the years, some that amazed us and others that fell short, but this one was different. Listening to the two AI hosts talk about the notes we uploaded felt almost real. But getting to that instant light wasn't instant ATLL and the stuff you see. If you want to try it, here's how. Start by going to the notebook guide. Up in the top right corner, you'll see an audio overview option. If you want to fine tune what the AI focuses on, use the customize tab and give it specific instructions. Then just click generate and in about five minutes, you'll have a polished audio summary. It's simple, fast and worth checking out. Back to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're gonna be looking at how prepared first year college students are. Now it's time to talk about some of the best features of Obsidian. Forget everything else. If you just consider the note-taking capabilities of Obsidian, it's actually great. It's special because it helps you link your notes together, like creating a web of ideas. This makes it easier to see how your thoughts connect and build on each other. You can quickly find what you need with its strong search feature, and the interface can be set up just the way you like. Even though it's simple to use, 
It has plenty of extra features if you want to do more with it. So no matter if you're writing ideas down, doing research, or keeping a journal, Obsidian fits right in with whatever you're doing. What makes Obsidian's graph view special isn't just how fast it is, but how much control it gives you. To open the local graph, click the three dots in the top right corner of the note you're working on and select it. This smaller graph focuses just on the note you're looking at, showing you how it's connected to other notes in your vault. Plus, the graph updates automatically whenever you switch notes. If you want to keep it close by, you can pin the local graph to the sidebar for quick access. Then comes Obsidian's Canvas tool that's like a digital whiteboard where you can map out your ideas using cards. You can drag the cards anywhere, group them together, or connect them in a way that makes sense to you. What's great is that you're not limited to text. Canvas lets you include sticky notes, pictures, PDFs, videos, audio clips, or even full articles. Your work is saved locally in an open JSON format, which means it's easy to use with other apps or customize further with Obsidian templates and scripts. It's a simple yet flexible way to keep your thoughts organized. After analyzing their best features, we want to point out what's great and what's not on both. Notebook LM helps you work smarter by letting you combine your documents and quickly find important information. The system makes sure everything it summarizes or answers comes directly from trusted sources. If you use Google Workspace with your team, Notebook LM works perfectly with it, so you won't have to change the way you already work. Everything happens in the cloud, using Google servers to sort and manage your documents easily. But it lacks the core features like to-do lists and time tracking you'll see on any other note-taking apps. It also lacks features like backlinking and markdown support and doesn't operate offline. On the other hand, what's missing on Notebook is available on Obsidian, but something it doesn't have that's found on Notebook, and one of them is AI. You have to organize everything manually on Obsidian. There's no helping hand, and since it's a local-first tool, you can't sync your notes across devices. So it's time to make the decision. Should you switch from Obsidian to Notebook LM? The call is yours. Do you need a tool that will help you understand complex concepts easily? Or help you to go through long research papers? Notebook LM does that easily for you. And anything related to organizing your work or visualizing your ideas, you should stick with Obsidian. It's still the best. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.